3D printing isn't just about toys and prototypes anymore. Uh, what you doing? Okay, sometimes it is. I went to Showtech, a pro live events company that I've partnered with for a long time, to see how they're using 3D printing. And you're gonna be surprised on actually how brilliant these solutions are. The first thing that caught my eye were these sleek rack-mounted SSD holders. T5s, T7s, whatever they hold, they record from their hyperdecks. So whenever they do these multi-cam shoots and they wanna ISO record or just record different program, clean, dirty feeds, their options are endless when it comes to rack mounting and case mounting and all these different ways they can 3D print something to mount pieces of gear that they use nonstop or that would just sit on a desk, which got me thinking, hey, can we do the same thing for all the mess of SSDs I have laying open in my backpack, flat, stacked up like pancakes on my desk. So Billy, the owner over at Showtech, created this. This holds these T7s nice and snug. There are a few different concepts out there, but he did this one himself, making it so it's more snug, more lightweight, really, really easy. You could slip in a backpack, drop it on a desk, but this to me is exciting. And he even added a little Showtech Tools logo right on the front or just leave it blank and you can label it yourself. But this is a game changer because I am the most disorganized when it comes to my drives. But now we can label these, we can keep them clean in here. If you're anything like me and this solves a problem for you, I'll leave a link down below and you can snag one for yourself. The next thing that stood out to me while I was at Showtech are these drawer organizers. It's the most simple thing. And I have all these different solutions when I get a new box, say an Apple, like an iPhone box, I empty it out and I end up putting cables or just knickknacks in those. And every brand now follows that same style, that design in there when they manufacture their boxes. Showtech took it a step further by doing these custom drawer 3D printed boxes, which may sound so easy and so simple, but it's a game changer. I've been on shows with them and other production companies that when you open one of these beautiful, huge cases and open up a drawer, it's littered with all the nonsense you can think of. And sometimes there's gaff that says what, it's most likely old and doesn't actually apply to what's in there anymore. But at one point, maybe it was nice, but now you just organize everything. Trust me, if you're in the live events game, let me know. I'm curious if you've opened up a work box before and just scratch your head and said, what am I doing? What, what is, how am I ever supposed to find what I'm looking for? So this one is one of my favorite and I think I wanna implement something very similar. If I can get a desk that's big enough to have a drawer, that would be cool. But I'm, I'm now I'm imagining just better organization within drawers and shelves. And it's so simple because you can change the dimensions as you print it out. Okay, side note, this is obviously not mission critical, but the games and things they've printed out, and these are downloads that you can find, anyone can find them and print them, but they're impressive. And when I get it in my office, it may be the most used thing on the list, is that spring-loaded basketball. <laughs> it's pretty sweet, it is pretty sweet. And then your brain can go to all the different things that are possible. Really, sometime you should scroll down the forums of what people have created in the 3D printing world. There are people who are so creative, but what I like about what Showtech's doing is they're seeing needs within their lives and finding ways to fill them. Spoiler alert, I think that's the end message. See a need, fill a need. If you can guess the movie in the comments, you've got a high five coming your way. If you've been following for any amount of time, especially the last few videos, this is my new basement studio office. It just got drywall. Well, one more day of drywall, and then I'll be able to paint it. And I can almost move in after I do the floor. And, but that's why I'm sitting in this construction zone, because I'm, I'm visualizing, I'm kind of inspiring myself to be in the space, to start creating here even when it's definitely under construction. So my final item I wanna talk about is a simple thing like this. This is a 3D printed box cutter. I think this is the perfect example of why 3D printing is so interesting. Because for one thing, I, I know at the shop when I used to work there full time and even in my office, my knives are always missing and my box cutters are, I go through them so fast and you're always buying more. But this, I don't know, cost a couple cents to make is such a great substitution for something that, oh, it breaks, print another one. It, it's just that philosophy where coming up with solutions for things that you would just order on Amazon. We're in a new world 
of Amazon orders and the simplicity of that. So instead of adding to cart, what can you create yourself? How can you be the one that puts Amazon out of business? Because we don't need their solutions, you have yours. And that's the whole spirit of 3D printing, is seeing needs and finding ways to fill them. And this might just be the start to that. I've been alluding to Showtech tools in previous videos and this one now, and the goal is we wanna partner up. I wanna partner with Showtech to create Showtech tools. And the simple goal would be to see problems, find ways to solve them, and share them with you. Maybe you don't have access to your own 3D printer like we do at the shop. So we'd love to make these available or something like this. And if there's something else that you're like, hey, could you print this for me? Let me know. Get in touch and we can figure out ways to solve your simple problems in film or live events together. Cause that's what's fun about it. You're in the industry, I'm in the industry, we're going around shooting video, wedding, live events, whatever it is. If you do something over and over, you should have a pretty good awareness of what's possible and how you can elevate your experience for next time you do it. These kind of tools and everything that Showtech is coming up with are those exact reasons. Showtech has done a bunch of jobs where they distribute TVs and the video feeds for those TVs. On the back of every TV is some sort of converter to take the SDI to HDMI. So with that, they're always mounting and moving things around and cables running to the back and then you gotta hide them away. So they created a perfect spot for the remote to sit and the cable to run through, the converter to sit there because they've done it so many times. So they've solved problems and they continue to solve problems because they do it over and over through experience. So. Together, you and I, as filmmakers, as creators, photographer, video, we're gonna run into problems. And the best thing we can do is share them with each other. How about the next person? It's kind of the pay it forward, backward, whatever it is mindset. We can double it and give it to the next person. So that's what I wanna do. I wanna come up with solutions of things that I've run into. Showtech's clearly doing it. That's why I wanna partner with them. And then we can help you. As I've said, the studio behind me is coming together and I can't wait to show you and also keep talking about the things that are going into it because I want it to be creative, inspiring, comfortable, but that'll be for another video. Thanks so much for watching. Big thanks to Showtech for letting me snoop around their shop. I love those guys. They are the best. You should check them out. Check them out at showtech.tv on their website. And that's all I've got. I'll see you later.